Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chad Godoy and today I'm going to interview one of my students again, Sir Angelo Espaglo. And right now he's going to teach us um, his background and how did he start, you know, his career as a virtual assistant. So Sir Angelo, can you tell us about yourself? Um, make sure that you are unmute and tell, tell, tell us about yourself and how did you start, you know, to become a freelancer like us. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, hello guys. Yeah, my name is Angelus Plago. So uh, my story began as a freelancer when I was uh, laid off from the, the only BPO company that pays well here in Bicol. So uh, at first, I thought it was okay because there are call center companies that offer work from home setups. So when I received my back pay, I immediately bought a computer set and a Jabra headset that I use now. Uh, I didn't return the old headset. So uh it was uh, deducted from my back pay. So here's the headset from my uh, old BPO company. So, so you use your your the headset that the company gave you yeah. for your work? <laughs> correct. <laughs> so, so I thought it would be easy to find a work from home job since I came from a call center. But it turned out to be difficult because of my accent. So they wanted someone who speaks with an American accent. Then um, I saw an ad on Facebook uh, offering a VA training for only uh, 199 pesos. I said, uh, I said to myself that I should try it. So I learned about what VAs do, uh, social media management and uh, graphic design, but only uh, briefly. So I gathered up the courage to apply for jobs and eventually I got a client from Canada on Upwork who sells leather goods. So I created posts and graphics for the client, but I was uh, let go. So my contract uh, got ended because the client was new to the business and uh, he didn't know the difference between social media management and uh, social media marketing. So after that, uh, I became depressed because I lost my job again and I didn't know how I would pay for rent, uh, utilities and food. And uh, I didn't want to borrow money because I didn't know when I could pay it back. So I applied to a BPO company again here in Naga in Bicol and went back to working on site even though the pay was low. So um, every day I, I feel I felt like I didn't want to be to be there. So I researched how to become a VA and applied to companies that accept VAs without experience. Then uh, someone sent me a link to your YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Chad. So where you talk about how to pass the, I, I think that time I'm searching how to pass interview at Magic. So I, I watched your video regarding Magic and it gave me the courage to try again to apply. Uh, since then, uh, I learned a lot from you. Uh, from your 10-day uh, training because uh, after uh, watching your uh, uh, videos reg uh, video regarding uh, magic, uh, there's a link there on the top right corner uh, regarding your 10-day uh, uh, training. So uh, I learned a lot from that training and I repeated it. I uh, repeated all the all the skills that you teach. So I, I repeat it and improve my skills. And I watch your videos again every day. And even though I didn't have any clients, uh, when when I started uh, watching your videos every day, I I have the you know the, the courage to uh, resign again from the B BPO job and continue to apply uh, jobs online. And as I watch your videos and applied what I learned, I got a client who noticed me, and I was hired as a lead. Uh, lead uh, generation a uh, cold calling i didn't know what it was but, but i said yes always said uh, yes to the interview and uh, you know uh, thankfully there's a training so after a month uh, i became a top rated uh, freelancer and i received invitations from my i that time when i became uh, top rated i received lots of invitations from clients every day so Sometimes um, I even gave some of my clients to others. It's <laughs> good. I mean, that's good. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just like paying back. I mean, yeah. from 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 frustration, now you become a motivation 
uh, motivational person to other people, you know. It's very hard for us to experience it. I experienced it as well, like uh, resigning from my job and then nothing's happening. Then I go back and then I resign again, just like you. So I know the feeling, you know, when when you are, when you quit, Yeah. <laughs> you know when when you quit a feeling of defeat you know in the in the face of your parents in the face okay. of your relatives you know it's very hard to face them oh say, see i like they were going to say see i told you you're not going <laughs> you're not going to be successful with it so it's very it's very hard it's very challenging but you know at the end of the day those people who doesn't give up you know those people who always persist those people are the people who became successful not the people who are who are intelligent or you know very you know very smart no not those people but the the people who became successful with freelancing are the people who have the guts first of all the guts to decide and then the guts to continue you know what you're doing even even something is not working and in your case like it's a blessing right now I don't know how much you're earning, but in 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 just talking to you, I I see some confidence, you know, a confidence with someone who's already earning, who has some money, to, you know, to spend, and that will grow. Imagine if you're just here for a year. I don't I don't know when you start. So imagine hey. if you're just here for a year, and then you gain another one year and another year of experience. Imagine where you can go from that experience that you already acquired from your training, from your job, you know, like cold calling, I guess it's kind of bit, you know, the, the salary for it's way higher than other people because it's kind of, it's a skilled job. And yeah. sometimes there's a lot of commissions when you make a sale. A sale, correct. Yeah. And that's promising. You know, so in in the start of my career, when I starting to become a VA, that those are the jobs that I want. But it but it doesn't go. You know, I don't fall for those kind of jobs, and I and I kind of envy you. But you know, and tell us about tell us about your experience. Like, how how did you find that client? How did how 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 did you acquire the client? Did you just apply? Ah, uh, yeah. Or, Um, what I did is that uh, when I optimize my uh, upper profile, like okay. what I saw in your uh, YouTube uh, video, uh, since I only have the which I, which is the skills I have from the BPO, which is the uh, sales uh, sales agent, so I highlight that one okay. and I. Uh, put that on my, you know, on my proposal. So, and then I mentioned to my client in on Upwork that here's my certification. I, I, I sent all the certifications I have when I was on in the BPO industry. Yes. So I think that's also a plus point. And uh, she, uh, she's happy regarding uh, what, uh, what she saw and regarding uh, my uh, skills, even though uh, before we uh, went to the uh, interview, I <laughs> tried to research regarding uh, cold calling and then lead generation since I don't have idea about that. So when the interview uh, comes, uh, I always just say yes to <laughs> what he's <laughs> you know, what you saying. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, uh, I'm just saying yes, like, I know it. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> just you just say I know it, even in the back of your head. Oh, I don't, I don't know it. But yeah. you know, it's you just say no, and then you Google it, you know, and ask the <laughs> ask artificial intelligence to explain to you what is the type of job that is on hand. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, you know, uh, on the on that job, uh, there's also uh, he's also looking for with an SEO experience. Yes. I don't know what is SEO means, but I just say yes to the interview, you know, <laughs> like <a> feeling pro. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I'm telling other people. Sometimes you just need to say yes and then you Google it. You know, if you're not confident, yeah, you can tell 
maybe like yeah I, I in my case what I do when it comes when, when there's a question that if I don't if you know something I tell them I don't know specifically that application that you want me to learn but I, I'm willing to learn I'm willing to learn it you know that, because that's my mindset when it comes to things when I don't know I google it I search it if I need to pay someone you know just for me to learn I pay uh, because you know when, when if you already have a job like you have money and you can pay for other like for other courses or for things that you, you can buy and you can tell that in front of the prospect but you know sometimes if if like if things happen uh, that you that you need a job mm-hmm. <laughs> you just say yes I mean, correct if you're desperate enough you just say yes and you don't know what will happen right it can be a yes it can be a no but at at least you say a yes right at least you yeah. try you try to say that you know it and when they when they tell you oh, you're not accepted at least you try your best right? yeah i agree with that uh, because you know uh the the reason why i got uh rejected so many times because uh when interview comes and when the client uh, asks that do you know this one? Do you know? Do you have skill like it? I said, no, the only skill I have is like this, like calling uh, since I'm from BPO, this is my expertise. Yes. But, you know, in freelancing, that's not how it works. So what I did is just uh, when a client asks or before the interview uh, comes, I try to research regarding the work. So when the interview comes, I know what to what to say, even yes. though I don't have the skills, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. So I first, I believe in the saying, uh, fake it till you make it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's yeah, like for, for works, people, yeah. like for people, it works, right? So it, it doesn't matter. Like for me, like what I always say to, to my students, it doesn't matter if whether you don't know the the skill set that they are um that they are looking for because first they don't know you all right they don't know you the the interviewer or the ceo or the owner of the business they don't know you so you for you to be accepted you have to at least ask them what they need and try to incorporate yourself onto that need even though you're not 100 percent equipped like there are like what I always telling. There are no one hundred percent. You cannot be one hundred percent prepared. Anyone cannot cannot be one hundred percent prepared for the job. What the interviewer, or what the CEO, or what the owner are looking for are the people who are interested for the job. They are interested to learn. They are willing to study. They are willing to you know to spend time to learn. Because there's always training, like what I was, like what I always telling other people, for companies they're always training. When you get in, they're going to train you. Like they're not going to expect that you know everything. Like for every company that I applied, every like um, relationship diet, uh, relationship um, development.org, diet versus disease.org, those companies and I I'm affiliated with. They all have SOPs, like uh, standard operating procedure that they going to give it to you on whether what I have, whatever job you're you're going to do. Like if you're a social media manager, they're going to give you the paper or oh, here's the task. You just need to read it and then do it, right? If you have questions, you can ask. So that is so. What I'm telling to my students is there's always a training. Sometimes maybe not. If the company is not yet established, they are just starting. They don't have SOPs, but it doesn't matter. You just tell them, "I'm willing to learn." Let, let's let's talk about what whatever the, the skill uh, needs, and then let's do it. So, in your case, it works. Why? Yeah. Because it it's it's the same every company, just like it. You know, there's always training in BPO. There's training, right? They, they're not going to give you the account 
just like that or here here's the account you work on the job no there's training so okay i can like i would like to ask you if you have um if you have something to say to our audience so those people who are just beginning those people who doesn't have the courage or the skills what can you tell them that um, before we end what you can tell to these people in order for them to you know at least have something out of this call go uh, yeah so uh for me uh i noticed that upskilling is the solution so i continue to upskill myself every day and uh you know i already have certificates from hubspot because of one of your uh, videos that you you know uh you tried to get the certificate regarding the hubspot marketing but you know uh, that's not the only certificate i have i already have the hubspot digital marketing certificate inbound marketing certificate and hubspot uh, super marketing tools certificate but i still need to pay that for for that one because it needs payment before you get the uh, certificate since you know it's a, a software and then i i just tried to watch all of your videos mr chad and then and i'm still uh eager, eagerly waiting for more so for you guys if you want to be a successful uh, freelancer don't stop learning uh every day watch video at least one so upskilling you know upskill is the solution and you know, uh, to be honest, I'm just new in freelancing, but I already have lots of knowledge. I just got hired um, February. So yes. earlier I mentioned that uh, I started from lead generation cold calling, but I'm not working for that client anymore since you know I already have uh, lots of uh, skills that I know I can apply to who to other client who pays well and yeah so now uh uh you know uh, before i started uh in freelancing i just have an idea regarding a virtual assistant but you know this time i can call myself now as a digital marketing specialist yes. because of all the skills oh my God. that i acquired <laughs> from upskilling <laughs> yes that's that's the spirit like for people uh for, for people that are listening the the thing that i teach you guys it's not just about virtual assistant if if you if you will if you will just look at it at the bigger picture like if you already have the experience the the things that i teach in the virtual assistant training it's really not just a virtual assistant training for for example the, the i teach you how to build your own funnel i teach you how to 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 have a content marketing strategy on the day two like we have day two content marketing strategy those skills are those skills are way above virtual assistant skills because those teach you how to do marketing so i teach you it that in a way that you're you don't that you don't know <laughs> that you don't know that you're already acquiring the skills right so in his case in his case in in angela's case right now he already figured it out like what i already teach him and then he accompanied with all the with all the trainings that he got like he got hubstar hubs hubs pot hubspot or hubspot hubspot <laughs> hubspot <laughs> yeah, hubspot. yeah. <laughs> we have hubspot training it's for free it's for free guys like yeah he he like he devoted himself to train and understand um, the marketing skills that needs to learn and for that he can show it to you his clients that he knows how to do digital marketing and it's just like, it, like if you know the basic what i teach you is the basic if you know the basic enough you're going to learn the 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 medium level the higher level easily if you already know the basics so that's why i keep pushing other people especially those filipinos who understand tagalog because the training is more like english tagalog i keep pushing them that you, you need to watch this 10 day training and for people they're all saying ah, it's so long 10 days i mean that 
Like, you need to spend some time. You're not going to spend some money. The training is for free. You need to spend time. You know, I'm not pushing you to finish it within one day. I'm just pushing it to you. Like, you learn it one video at a time or half video, and then you continue, then you do it slowly. So that's what I'm what, that's what I'm pushing with other people who wants to know about virtual assisting, what wants to know how, how to be an exceptional freelancer, just like Angelo is right now is positioning himself to be a digital marketing expert because because that's what it is. You be, you're going to become a digital marketing expert if you watch the 10 day training because if you watch a 10 day training, that is assistant marketing training that I teach you. Like you're going to be a virtual assistant for marketing. So if you going to the next level, like a digital marketing expert, it's very easy for you if you know that already because you're going to learn what are leads, what are funnels, like what are what are the platforms that you need to be there, like how to make content, the understanding of the basic content creation, how is it being how how is it being created or how is how it's being translated into some other formats. So that's what uh, what we are trying to in, embodied here. So for you guys who are listening to this, um, we are very thankful for the sharing of Angelo. And guys, don't forget. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more information in the future, um, more of the skills, more of the apps, and maybe some paid courses in the future because so many people are asking me what are where are your paid courses. <laughs> so it's kind of bit we're kind of bit developing a paid courses for people who are interested uh, for paid courses wants to learn side by side with me they can ask questions and everything and so uh, that will came in the future so thank you guys and have a nice day i hope this video helped you and bye-bye bye guys